Hey, uh, YouTubers, Taz Man here, bringing you another episode of Taz Teaches Java. And in this episode, I've kind of contemplated about this episode quite a bit because this is something, an interface is what we're going to learn about. An interface is really, they're hard to uh, understand their purpose until you really need it. And for small little projects like this, generally you won't, for most of the things we'll ever do, or, you know, do on this, uh, we might not even need interfaces. But I think it's kind of a good thing to kind of just at least, you know, wet your whistle, get you, get you an idea of what it is so you know it exists. But really, if you don't understand this or if you don't understand why on earth would I ever use that or that doesn't make much sense or anything like that, Interfaces right now are the ones I would say take with a grain of salt um, and it's okay if you don't fully understand it because like I said, it, even for me, for something just as simple as I can make uh, a quick video about, I'm like, well, why would I really even care? I mean, I could do this just as easy, but it's usually in larger scale projects you'll see it so let's just talk a little bit about interfaces real quick and just so you know a lot of this code I've already written because I recorded this video once and for some reason the footage had corruption about about three-fourths of the way through so I've deleted uh, the pertinent stuff for interfaces which is why here we're seeing an error here we're seeing some, um, well, we'll see those the whole time anyway. Uh, but all the files are created. And if you want to create an interface, all I did right here is created an interface package. And if you want to create an interface in um, Eclipse, you simply just come down here to interface, give it a name. It kind of follows the same rules as your classes, so uppercase. And there you go. So as you can see, now, interface name so if we look at this in objects so a class is a noun right a class like a vehicle a class like a person a class like a student a teacher they're all nouns person place or thing then inside your class you have methods and those were the verbs we've talked about those too we have you know um, eat we have run we have jump we have swim we have dodge we have fire we have you know all kinds of our, our our methods are verbs so an interface could be described and generally when you name an interface it might have an adjective type of thing so you can usually turn a verb into um an adjective by adding a b l e to the end a bull right so you could say runnable which means you know is it runnable or whatever um or also as you can see here we're using can so can fly can swim um for you know fly obviously is the verb and swim so you can kind of use those two it didn't make sense for me to say flyable well i guess i could have done that but i just did can fly can swim for it so an interface is a java in java <laughs> my wife's phone's in here <laughs> An interface in Java is similar to a class, but the body of an interface can include only abstract methods and final fields. Now, final fields are your uh, your variables. They have to be final, which means they're constants, and they need to be static. Now, we've kind of learned, I think we've talked about it before, but a static thing is something that can't be instantiated or can't be created. So, for example, main in in our programming public class uh, public static void main this is static because we don't actually create a a instance of tester right so this is basically something that we can access or here we can access main without having to have an object to attach it to so for example if fly here and this is an error because it doesn't exist yet but if fly here were static we wouldn't necessarily have to have bird we won't have to have an object to attach to it so that's what uh your static things are and in in a uh, an 
interface, like here we have cam fly, you can create something. We could say like, well, actually, even if you don't name it, like if I just say int, or actually let's do double, and say um, final. I don't even think you have to say if you even don't. It, let's just try this how we're doing it. Let's just say pi for. Um, oh, and then let's say you'll see actually it already is telling us here that this cannot uh, pi hasn't been initialized. So if we initialize that to say 3.14, right? Now it seems happy. Now if we were to try and access this, and of course we can't access it unless we actually um, implement our, our thing. So if we just, for example, came in here to, let's just say Birdman for a minute, and we said I-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-S. So this is how you access or tell Java that you're connecting into an interface. Now, i kind of getting ahead of myself. Now, like I said, this is pretty complex stuff. So when we, here we have a Birdman that extends human. And this is because all Birdmen are human. All mermen are human. So both of those extend human. However, not all human are birdmen or mermen. So that's why that's not. So that's where we get, this is the super class. These are the subclasses. Both these extend that. Which means birdman has access to age, weight, is tired, is hungry, and as does merman. However, merman does not have access to flight speed and altitude, nor does birdman have access to swim speed and depth. So, um, uh, this is really kind of hard to, to keep my train of thought here. So here we're, we're doing double pi 3.14. So if we do implements and we say can, oops, can, did I do it right that time? Can't, oops, oh, implements, all right, can fly, because that's the one we're doing it in, right? So I have access to that, if I said um, pi, or maybe let's say, can we do it this way? Can we say double altitude? Let's just see if this works. Pi. So as you can see, it's plenty happy with pi being there. However, even though I didn't necessarily or explicitly set this to, um, to be a constant, it still is treated like a constant just because it's in there. So if I tried saying, uh, let's see, pi equals 3.15, this is not going to like it because, hopefully it's not going to like it. <laughs> Did I do a colon there? Semicolon. Actually, let's just get rid of this guy for a minute. Or is that what it's talking about? expected double altitude why is that expected comma comma altitude is not used which we're fine with so is it this guy causing that issue it is. So, yeah, it's given us a weird error that it doesn't necessarily know how to handle it. And part of that is because this, even though you don't necessarily define it that way, is a final. FI. Actually, I guess we do final here, right? We say uh, F final and it's static. Now, static means we can't. It means that this variable is accessed the same by every single, like if we have objects over here, they're accessing this directly. So if I can't really change it because it's final. But if, for example, uh, this wasn't in an interface or anything and it was static, that would mean that like if I had a counter, how many, how many guys I had or something like that, how many humans 
um, that's static. It means it's not part of an actual object. It's its own little chunk of memory and all the objects that reference it share it. So as that number would go up, all of them would have access to them individually. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. We're not really going to go too much into the, um, the variables. I just kind of want to tap on that. So um, a class implements an interface by providing code for each method declared by the interface. So I've mentioned before, an interface is kind of like a contract with the class. If I have something in here and we have can't fly, well, if I create a method and it's not the standard type of method, once again, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Maybe I should keep reading my, my notes real quick. So it says most interfaces are named with adjectives rather than nouns. We kind of cover that. They describe some additional capability or quality of the classes that implement the interface. All all the methods in an interface are assumed to be public and abstract. So I don't necessarily have to put the public on there. Um, it's kind of implied, but I can. I could say P-U-B-L-I-C public and say void because we don't want it to return anything. And then we could say uh, fly, right? And we could say it doesn't need anything to be passed into it. And then we can go ahead and do that. Now, the difference between this is this is more of the way we do our method definition. We're just telling it information. We're, we're passing to this guy. And now you'll see Birdman is not going to be happy with us. And it has a red thing or a red line. And the reason is, is it says it must implement the inherited abstract method canfly.fly. Right? So what it's saying here is it says, hey, I have a contract with can fly and can fly just so happens to have this fly method. I do not have that method located in me. I need to have it. And so that's that's what it's saying right there. So if we have another in here, let's say, well, let's say with fly, we also have jump. Because that's kind of like a really short flight, right? Short fly up and back down. <laughs> So we don't need the public. We could just say void and jump. And here we could we could actually say, okay, well, let's say, um, also let's say with fly, let's say int speed, comma, int uh, height. How high do you want to fly and how fast? Right, where jump is kind of constant, you just jump uh, and you maybe go a foot or two where flight you might go more so if I want I can actually come in here and I can hover over this and it'll say add the unimplemented methods right so if we do that you can see it automatically adds the notation for override to let us know that this is overriding something and as you can see it automatically created our, our two methods so now in here where this is the bird man, he can fly. We're just gonna say, just to keep it short and simple, S out, uh, let's just say F-L-Y-I-N-G, so something like flying. However, let's say a merman, he can't, let's, let's do this, I-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-S, implements and do a C, so can't fly. So he's going to want to implement this too, right? Um, however, a merman can't fly. So what we would want to do maybe here is, and there's no reason to pass in a speed or a height because he can't fly. He can dive. So here we might say something like S out. Uh, da, da, da. Let's do this and say... I can't fly. Something like that, real quick. Or, you know, maybe I need an airplane or something. I don't know. So, here, now we're implementing it, and they're happy because we're meeting the requirements. I think we still need to, uh, we need the dive method still. Uh, actually, let's just comment these out really quick just to. Uh, just to show you. So now if I run these, 
both of these know that they have to have that fly method and so they have the fly method as far as running this goes it could care less that these things even exist because all it's carrying is I come in here and I say fly it's being overridden it's overriding what's in there because well there's nothing there and then one of the things that um, interfaces are really used for is uh, to really work with overriding polymorphism and stuff so uh, just because uh, this is kind of what I was talking about a little earlier and I got off track when we were talking about the human and how all humans can be uh, a bird man or a merman but not all mer all not all bird men are human um, that's called your inheritance right but I can't actually inherit multiple things I couldn't say a human and a reporter or something uh, so I can't um, extend human and reporter you can only extend one thing and that's kind of where these come in where you'll be able to uh, have these contracts or access methods or permissions of methods or ideas of the methods outside and like I said take it with a grain of salt really kind of hard to explain so if we run this now if we hit save we should get that all clean we're good these guys right here just because we're not using those um, and we really don't need to so if we hit run you can see birdman here since we called him first he's flying fish or bird here <laughs> bird the birdman he's flying fish here he can't fly so this is fine and dandy however let's say we have other things that maybe can't fly and can't like if we said with this we could say uh, everything can swim right so we could say don't return anything whoops void and we could say uh, swim swim and it doesn't have anything now this is basically abstract when it it's a anonymous method or abstract method means that it doesn't actually contain anything which is why we put the little whoops, semicolon at the end of it and we say avoid uh, dive and then once again how fast are we gonna dive Maybe we do int speed sp <laughs> int and depth d uh, int e e p t h right and there we go so now these guys as soon as I tell it to also implement this guy did I mess something up here is that a colon I think it's a colon there we go so a semicolon so as soon as I implement the can swim right so if we say and that's that's where these things come in is they kind of allow you to you can implement as many interfaces as you want however you can only extend one other class so we could say can whoops can and say swim and now once again this is not going to be happy with us because well birdman doesn't have any of those so we could actually come in here whoops mouse over it and say add unimplemented ones and now we have a swim and a dive uh, if we say birds can't dive they can swim they can you know like a duck swim on top of the water but here we could say s out I cannot dive right then of course merman's not going to be happy with this either uh, and say do, 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 do. can dive or can swim I mean so he's not gonna be happy because we're not implementing those I want to keep right-clicking it so we add those and now everything's happy again and we can even turn back on these two guys and actually merman's not gonna say anything when we tell him to dive right now because he's not set to so we could say um, S out and say diving diving so now if we look at this we will see that when we run it we got flying but he cannot dive and diving but I cannot fly so yeah this like I said it doesn't really make sense because I'm actually writing all the methods this is kind of redundant now one place I can understand that this might be handy is let's say we have uh, like mole man or you know 
many, many different things that maybe they can't fly and maybe they can't dive, but they can do their own thing. Well, that means I have to write, I can't fly, I can't dive, and everything in each of these things. And so this is one place where you might be able to do a little more with your interface. So for example, we have our public void here. If we say default, we use the keyword default, D-F-A-U-L-T, we do that and then we we have to keep that, that uh, semicolon, but we want to add our, our body like that. What this is going to do is this is going to make us say, okay, this is absolute a contract. You have to have this in your class. You just have to, period. If you don't, you're in violation of the contract. However, if this is default, this says, okay, this you should have in your class for the can fly to be valid. However, if you don't, I have a default one that you can use. And this is where we could say for can fly, we can actually go to Merman and grab his I can't fly and do control X and we can stick that right there and now we can actually delete this fly method from here without having any issues because we're still we're still in not in violation of our contract here we have said okay we do have a jump we don't have to have this now another thing is if I have this set up and for example I come into which one is that that's this can fly right uh, if I were to delete the jump method too, once again, it'll be angry with us because it doesn't meet the contract minimum, right? So we mouse over this and it'll say, no, you have to have something. Now you'll notice when I do this, it only added the jump. It did not add the, the fly because it has the default. That's not part of the contract that you have to have that in there anymore. So this is something that was new with Java 8, where you could actually have kind of a default setting, which means now if I have a mole man or whatever other kind of man you can think of that can't fly, I don't have to add the fly method into them and they'll automatically say I can't fly. And we can do the same thing with the bird man. We can go grab I cannot dive from here and go into swim and we can change this guy by saying default. And then we add our body and then we just put in our I can't dive and it's happy. Now one other thing to note is this is not a thing that can be instantiated. You can't create an object of can swim. So that means I can't use variables from Birdman because each this is the template, right? This is a blueprint. So I can't access flight speed or anything like that. So I can't access variables, instance variables from within here. So I can't have things to say, oh, well, if flight speed, you know, I can't use that for a default thing. This basically can only be really very basic things. You can do outputs like this. Uh, you might be able to access your variables, your constants and stuff like that, but it's, it's, this is more of a thing just to a convenience to say, hey, now you don't have to have in Birdman uh, a dive method if he can't dive. There's no reason to do that. It's just a waste of space. And you have to actually have that in every single thing that uses the can swim uh, interface. <clears throat> so now you'll see everything is we don't have any little things other than these yellow little yellows that's because we're just not using them but everything's happy so we're meeting the contracts or what we've guaranteed we're gonna have and we're um, we have our default now the thing to note here is because this is default if I were to remove the swim and dive actually I'm gonna copy this guy real quick just so we can do it quick. If I were to remove the swim and dive, the, the interface has no clue that Merman actually can swim it and it wants to have that other, uh, other 
abstract method or the method that we defined in there. So if we hit the thing here, do this, mouse over, hit implement, you'll see it only did the swim method, the one that we have to have. It did not do the dive method. So you will have to add that manually for it to work right. Other words, we'll get Merman saying he can't dive either, which what kind of fish is he? So now if we run this, we should see this exact same thing, but we don't have to worry so much about um, about that. So let, in fact, uh, we, we're at 25 minutes. Maybe we could ma make a quick mole man. That's one thing I didn't do before. So if we go here, you see flying, I cannot, I cannot dive. So he can fly, but he cannot dive. Diving, but he cannot fly. If we were to just quickly, let's just, try this we'll just make a really basic mole man uh, so we want new we want a class we'll call this mo mole man right so this guy he can dig but we're not going to do a can dig thing we're just going to know that that's there so mole man he also is a human so e x t e n d extends um human and we're going to get an error here because it's going to say we're not meeting uh, the humans. The human expects us to pass it something. So if we do this and we say, okay, implement that constructor for us. You'll see that it wants us to implement it. We actually don't need these because through the chaining, we don't need those. So here we go. We can get rid of these two also. All we're all we have to actually pass it is that. So there's our constructor. The next thing we would say here is we would say I M P L E M E N T S implements, and we want can, right? Can fly, comma, can uh, swim, right? Swim. And now, of course, we're in violation of our contract, so we can do this. Oops, I keep right clicking. We can do this, we can add those unimplemented. You'll see it only added the two because those are the contracts. So now if we made a mole man in here, all right, came in here and we said, uh, oh, actually let's do it up here. We'd say mole man uh, and make him a mole. Mole, 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 new. Mole man, and we have to at least pass it an age and a height. So let's just make his age like what 16. He's a young mole man. Uh, his weight, he's pretty light. Let's make him maybe 110 pounds or whatever. Actually, we don't need that. All right, and then of course, we need our semicolon at the end. Then what we can do is we can come here, C, and do a V. And we could say mole and really mole. So now, as you can see, we didn't have to write very much code at all. I mean, we could write code for swimming. Maybe he doesn't swim as fast as a fish man. So like he would be swim distance divided by two, half the distance or something. Uh, maybe he doesn't jump as high as a bird man because Birdman are relatively light, I would guess. They got hollow bones and stuff. So we could have our individual guys having their code for when they do something specific. Um, yeah, that's it. But let's go ahead and run this and you'll see our mole man. And maybe what we'll say, let's just make this so, let's just make it a little more obvious. <laughs> well, who's saying what? We'll say, B I R D M A N S A Y S. Birdman says, and then we'll yeah, let's do that, and then we'll come down here. We'll copy that. Just hit enter here. Hit V, and we're gonna say Mole Man, and we're gonna do a escape character for a new line. Do a C, maybe do an extra character turn there. And this is Mer. So here we have all our people, Merman, Birdman, and stuff. So now if we run this, it'll be a little more clear who's talking. So Mole Man says, uh, Birdman says, flying, 
I cannot dive. Mo Man said, I did that backwards. This is uh, not Mo Man, this is Merman. <laughs> Merman. This is what, when we were talking about, um, when we were talking about uh, logic errors, this is a logic error. Mo Man. Okay. So the program actually runs fine. So here we have the Birdman. He's flying, but he cannot dive. Merman says, I'm diving, but I cannot fly. And then poor Mole Man says, I cannot dive and I cannot fly. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. Um, like I said, if it doesn't, it will if you get deep into Java and you actually start working on big projects. I think probably the most useful thing that we actually got out of it is what they introduced into Java 8, I believe, is this default, where you can have a default, so I don't have to actually have that same uh, method in every one of these saying the exact same thing. I can actually just have it automatically do that. That's probably the only place I can see that it's very useful because I mean void jump yeah I have void jump in I have a jump in here I could have put jump in all of these if I wanted them jump right so there you have it hopefully it made a little bit of sense to you if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below so having that comment like and subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my discord and my other channels and um, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.